Hello everyone, Kaiser here, and today I'm back with a new video, and if you guys enjoyed the new trailer I have, I suggest that you go check out a one of my subscribers of mine, Blitzbolt, he makes a lot of great content, so go check him out, I really appreciate him making the new intro, so yeah, um, and getting on with this new video, it's a review slash custom of this bootleg Sasuke SH figure arts. Now, I didn't actually get this myself. My brother actually bought this, but he decided to buy it so we could have a Sasuke for our display. And so he went with this one, and he, me and him agreed that if there were any changes that need to be made or anything that needs to be repaired, that I was allowed to do it. So, we got the figure probably a few weeks ago, and for the most part, it's actually pretty good. It's not as bad as the Naruto figure that broke on me. And that's because I actually learned a little something about handling counterfeit figures, so I'll get to that later. So let's get into the actual review. So, for the basic look of Sasuke, and how he's painted, it doesn't look that bad, actually. There's one weird thing about the head, more or less the face, if I can show you. So, if you can see on the face, or on, yeah, on the face, see that his eyes are like a dark blue, when they're supposed to be black? So I'm not sure why that is exactly. So I'm most likely be changing that. There we go. So yeah, for the most part, it's painted pretty well. It's not terrible. I'm not gonna be able to that there we go. So yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, uh, and another thing that probably isn't good is if if you can see that the joints inside the arms are painted a flesh color when they're supposed to be gray so that's another thing but it doesn't annoy me too much and one more thing now I'm remembering the little parts of his sandals here are supposed to be black but they're not but again for the most part he's okay and going on to the accessories he has. As you can see, he comes with his sword. I'm just gonna take that out. Comes with a sword and a gripping hand. He does come with two fists. Let me put that on. And for his other hand accessories, he comes with two claw-like hands, I'm not sure what to call those. Let's drop them in. Uh, two, like, open, spread out hands. He does come with, like, ninjutsu hands, but they're the same as Naruto, so I don't know why they didn't change them. For his other sword accessories, he has the sword inside the scabbard. And on the back of this figure, you can see that he has the scabbard without the sword. He also has a alternate hairpiece. And he also has a Shidori. But since this is a knockoff, you can see that it is split in half, so I'm going to have to fix that. But yeah, looks pretty good. So now on to articulation. The head can go down that far, up that far. It goes side to side, and the neck is on a ball peg as well, so you get a lot of good range. The arms can go out that far. They have a bicep swivel and a butterfly joint, but I'm not going to force it too much. Oh, another thing about this figure, 
Um, I'm not sure why, but with this arm in particular, there was like a lot of blue around that area right there, which is supposed to help you do the butterfly joint. But mine was glued on, well, my brother's was glued on so you couldn't move it. So I had to heat up a X-Acto blade and just keep cutting at it until I got it to move. So that was a pain. He has a bicep swivel. Um, I'm gonna call that double jointed. Uh, no, it's not a double jointed. It's a single jointed elbow. It doesn't go all the way. Has a oops, can't see that. Has a wrist swivel and hinge. He has a ab cream I can go half far in, half far back. Now for his legs, um, on the original figure or a counterfeit, they're not going to get the best range of motion because of how stiff this thing is. So what I did was mine. What I did with mine was I took it apart. I keep saying mine when it's technically not, sorry. I took it apart and kind of got rid of any excess pieces I thought they needed to be there. So the leg can now move out about that far on that side. I'll just deal with that later. And it can move out that far on this side. So it's a little better, but I'm still probably going to change it. For this, for the rope. There we go. He can move side to side and move it up. As you can see, his legs can go out forward, they can go out back, they can go out to the side. He has double jointed knees. And he also has a five swivel in there. Also has a ankle swivel hinge, pivot, all that, and he has a toe hinge. So yeah, for Sasuke, I'm just get going down. He's actually not too bad, but there are still things that I'm going to change about him. So I'll probably put a jump cut to the other part of the video where you see what I've done. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, so I'm back. I finished all the improvements and changes that I made to Sasuke, and if I'm honest, I'd say it's a little bit better. So let's get started. Starting with the head, or more rather the hair. As you can see, I did make it a little more spiked out by putting some extra bits of clay on it so that it resembles um, how his hair looked in the fourth grade Ninja War. And I say that it worked pretty well. I could have done better on it, but I'm satisfied. And with the face, if I can take it off. You can see that I did make the eyes black if you're able to see that. And for his alternate face, I did add the Renegon. It was really hard to paint since it's so small, but I don't know, I think I did an okay job. Um, I am planning on getting another Sasuke figure so I can have some more alternate faces with Charon, Gon, and Renegon. But for now, this is okay. Um, for the torso, like, yeah. For the torso, what I did with that is, um, if you, if you do take the socket figure apart, you can see that the skirt, the original skirt piece had three different layers with, like, these three, three different, um, center pieces. And when you stack them together, it gave Sasuke that bit of height, but for the lower torso piece here, it was really short. So, um, if, again, if you did decide to take it apart, that lower piece would just look off. You would have this huge gap where there was nothing. So what I did was, um, I used like a lot of padding, like tape, um, and paper and stuff like that. So I could make it look a little bit more normal with the rest of his shirt, because it was really skinny. 
and then I made it longer so it can reach down to where his waist is. Um, so if I do decide to take the skirt off, then it looks normal, like there's not a huge gap there. So yeah. Speaking of the skirt, that's made out of cloth, it's from an old t-shirt, and the rope is made from a piece of yarn. I do know that the rope belt isn't the most accurate to how it looked in the show, but I'm still happy with it. And now that the legs have more clearance, it's just a lot easier to move around. You could you could get him into some poses kind of like this. So yeah, and they can still go out to the side. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Come on. There we go. Um, for the Sharingan, not Sharingan, <laughs> for the Shidori, I glued the two pieces together, so now that's fixed. And another thing I forgot to mention is that uh, he does come with another set of hands for the Shidori. So if I can get it in the right way. Yeah, it pretty much fits in like that. I'd say it looks pretty well. Another thing I forgot to mention is that I painted his chest. So yeah, those are all the improvements and stuff I made to Sasuke. I think it turned out pretty well. And for a bit of a comparison, here he is getting... Nope, he's not going to stand. Hold on a sec. There we go. Here he is standing next to Naruto. And here he's standing next to my custom Sakura. She can stand up herself. That's fine. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I say this worked out pretty well. And I'm glad that I have a somewhat complete Team 7. All I really need now is Kakashi and the other Naruto figures. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Sorry for the lack of like custom videos and stuff like that. It's just been busy with school and stuff like that. But I hope you understand. I hope you enjoyed the stuff I put out. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.